I was never gonna be a man's physique. Didn't have much of an off season. I like his physique better. I'm always very energetic. I will have to put me as one of the greatest. Mr. Olympia was won by the back. You mentioned bad habits, right? Bad habits and obviously the less the better, I get that. But if you are a bodybuilder and you, you have some bad habits, let's say, you like to smoke, you like to drink, like what's, is any of that even permissible while you're on a cycle at all? Or is it gonna continue to just destroy everything even worse? Yeah, I tell to my, I tell to my patients and clients, when, when you wanna start a cycle, you have to choose between smoking and gear, you know? You cannot have two risky factors together. Also, clean food, do not eat junk because they will clog your arteries along with the gear. All right, so don't take narcotics also because the elevated blood pressure, let's say cocaine, that has been also elevated from the stimulants in order to burn fat, all the steroids. So it's a lethal combination. So as an athlete, you need to be, uh, you know, you need to live a healthy lifestyle to give a good example to the, to the rest of the others. So take this chance and the risky factor of the gear use, but leave away smoking, junk food, uh, narcotics, you know, ethanol, alcohol, of course, you know. So these are for the lazy people, not the Olympians, let's say, or the bodybuilders. You know what I want to ask you? Obviously, um, a lot of people, they use insulin, right? And then they eat actually junk food that in return, right? It converts into, goes into muscle, right? They, so they, they can get away with eating junk food. Is that, is that This is how the bubble got created. When you eat uh, junk and foods, you know, with insulin. So, as Milo said, the bubble gut is created depending on what you eat on insulin, you know. So, if you eat clean, you don't create visceral fat. So, but obviously, uh, some bodybuilders eat junk food in order to get jacked and pumped. The point is, this is not good for the visceral fat and actually it's not nutritious. For bodybuilding, doesn't insulin convert sugar into actual, and it goes into muscle? Is that accurate or not? Absolutely, absolutely. but you can eat starchy carbs. They will convert to glucose eventually, but it's different uh, process and uh, metabolism, you know, the biochemistry. So it's better to eat starchy carbs, you know. Some simple carbs, but not junk, you know, not refined sugars, not trans fat, you know. They will make you look uh, messy, you know. So there are some people who didn't develop a visceral uh, fat like Milos, of course, but I guess he was uh, supreme in his diet when he was using insulin. And of course, don't abuse it, okay. Now, uh, what happens if you use insulin and drink alcohol? Because alcohol is a lot of sugar in alcohol, right? So what happens if you do yeah, that? Yeah, you're right. So alcohol may give you some uh, um, hyperglycemia that will then turn the pancreas, you know, to release insulin. Now, uh, it has some sugars, yes, alcohol, but it's not, I don't think it's a good idea to mix these things together, you I know? I was wondering what happens. What does that sugar from alcohol goes if you, if you also use insulin at the same time? Yeah, I have this, uh, your speculation goes intramuscular also, you know, so you create some intra intramuscular fat that is stubborn to be burned, you know, so, uh, you, you know, it's a toxic uh, compound for the brain, for the liver also, you know, it makes you fat because it has seven calories, you know, per grams, like drinking oil. And actually, it blocks the antidiuretic hormone or vasopressin, you pee, so it's diuretic, you can, it can make you uh, dehydrated, you know, and this is not a cool thing. Now you can use a little bit of alcohol like Ronnie did in Moscow mm -hmm. and he paid it before the show, yeah. <laughs> what about marijuana use? Because I, I, I know a lot of bodybuilders personally and they, they smoke, you know what I mean? They, they take yeah, they do it at night in order to chill out and, and uh, go to bed, you know. So this is common. I've, been, I've seen Aaron also in generation in, uh, I'm sorry, in Puffin Island doing this. Uh, now, uh, there, there are some rumors that inactive people that are using drugs may elevate the uh, should die on lower uh, testosterone. Uh, but it can give you hypoglycemia that make you crave, crave for sugar and for food. So it will mess up your hunger and your metabolism because I remember you remember my vacations 25 years ago as a kid. So somebody over there, a chap, uh, had some uh, hope, you know, and afterwards he was craving for some uh, donuts, you know. So it makes you hypoglycemia that wants you to go and eat some junk afterwards. But usually they do it in order to relax and chill out before night.